Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. Today, we will reflect on recent events through the guidance of the Quran and the teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. In times of difficulty and uncertainty, it is essential for us to turn to the wisdom of our faith, seeking solace and direction from Allah, the most glorified, the most high. The world is facing a multitude of challenges, whether it's the conflicts that plague our lands, the natural disasters that test our resilience, or the social injustices that continue to affect the most vulnerable among us. As Muslims, how should we respond to these events? What lessons can we draw from the Quran and Sunnah to guide our actions and thoughts? Allah, the most glorified, the most high, reminds us in the Quran. Do you think that you will enter paradise without such trials as came to those who passed away before you? They were afflicted with severe poverty and ailments, and were so shaken that even the messenger and those who believed along with him said, When will the help of Allah come? Yes, certainly, the help of Allah is near. Surah al-Baqarah, Ayah 214 This verse reminds us that trials are part of life. They are a means through which Allah tests our faith, patience, and reliance on Him. It is during these moments of hardship that we must remain steadfast holding on to our trust in Allah's wisdom and mercy. In light of recent events, it is crucial for the Muslim Ummah to remain united and compassionate. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The believers, in their mutual kindness, compassion and sympathy, are just like one body. When one of the limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. Sahih Hun Muslim this hadith beautifully illustrates the importance of standing together, supporting one another, and showing empathy towards those who are suffering. Whether it's through offering financial help, providing emotional support, or simply making dua, we must strive to be there for each other, just as the Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us. In these trying times, we must also turn to Allah in repentance and dua. The Quran says, And when my servants ask you concerning me, Indeed, I am near. I respond to the invocation of the supplicant when he calls upon me. Surah al-Baqarah, Ayah 186. Dua is a powerful tool that Allah has given us. It is a means of seeking His help, forgiveness, and guidance. Let us make sincere dua for those affected by recent events, asking Allah to grant them ease, patience, and relief from their hardships. Let us also seek forgiveness for our own shortcomings. For it is through repentance that we purify our hearts and draw closer to Allah. As we navigate through these challenging times, let us remember the words of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Know that victory comes with patience, relief with affliction, and ease with hardship. Narrated by Tirmidhi, may Allah, the most glorified, the most high, grant us the strength to remain patient, the wisdom to act with compassion and the faith to trust in His divine plan. And may He bring peace and relief to all those suffering around the world. Amin. Thank you for watching. If you found this video beneficial, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's spread the message of hope and unity during these difficult times. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.